Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gray's GR60, which is the second rod in Gray's triumphant return to the United States. We're going to tell you what we think about it right now. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got great reviews on all the new Hardy, Fenwick, and Gray's rods coming right up, and you're not going to want to miss it. The Gray's GR60 is the lower priced model in the Gray's lineup. It sits below the GR80, but in terms of the pure fishing fly rod family, it's still above Fenwick. So it's sort of that mid to low price point there. And that is really going to be the story for this GR60. It's that $225 price. And at $225, this is a really fantastic rod. And you just get a ton of value. Let me show you what I mean by looking through the components on the rod. Starting from the bottom, you've got a nice double up locking reel seat. And the only thing that really stands out about this is the word Torion here that's really boldly printed on the back. I don't really know what Torion means, so this is just kind of a funny bit of branding that probably nobody cares about. As we move up, you'll see the standard Hardy Gray's reversed half wells grip, and that moves on to this sort of naked type graphite label here that seems to accompany the entire Hardy Gray's portfolio. And again, we see Torion here. I still don't know what it is, but it must be really important. Anyway, as we move up, you've got this nice sort of matte blank. I actually really like how they've designed it. It's a very cool look. And of course, they've added alignment dots. And you're going to see sort of hard chrome, single foot guides, and stripping guides on this rod. Pretty standard for this price point. Not a lot of high-end componentry. But overall, nicely appointed rod for that $200 price point. Now, let's go out and see how it casts. Starting at our first trout distance of 30 feet, you notice right away that this is gonna be a softer, more accessible rod than the GR80. Not to say that the GR80 is by any means a difficult rod to cast, still super user friendly, but this is going to be a step softer, a step more user friendly, and overall probably a little bit better of a dry fly rod, a little bit more delicate. It's nice and accurate at the 30 foot distance and at 45 and at 60, but it's definitely not going to be the rod that you're going to want to take to your casting competitions. It's just a nice, good, solid fishing tool. It does whatever you want it to do, but it's not going to go above and beyond. Where I think this mix comes into play is at the $200 price point. Because at 200 bucks, most of the rods out there are really just not that good. And this GR60, it's accurate across the board and it's got enough power at 60 feet to make those longer casts if you need them. What more can you ask for? All in all, I enjoyed casting this GR60, and I think if you're new to the sport, or if you're a veteran that doesn't want to spend an arm and a leg, this rod is fantastic. And for a lot of anglers who aren't fishing in tricky situations and aren't out there every single weekend, you're probably not going to miss much. Hi guys, I wanted to pop in and let you know that these videos are fully funded by your purchases at our shop. If you find this video helpful and you want to keep them coming, consider making your next gear purchase at tridentflyfishing.com. Now, on to our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, the GR60, while fantastic at the $200 price point, it's pretty middle of the road. It does everything well, nothing fantastic, gets an 8 out of 10. In terms of components, it's pretty much what you'd expect for 200 bucks and earns a 6.5 out of 10. In terms of distance, this isn't gonna be a casting champ, but still gets the job done for you. I'm gonna say seven out of 10. Grip here, like 
all the other rods in the Hardy Grays lineup that we've cast so far, standard reverse half wells, decent cork, really not a lot of difference there. It's gonna be an eight out of 10. Up next is looks, and this rod isn't gonna be a flashy rod by any means. It's fine and gets a seven out of 10. Swing weight on this one comes in at roughly 64 gram meters squared. And that's actually really light for this price point. It's in fact even lighter than the GR80 and almost as light as the Hardy Ultralight. That's gonna be good enough to earn it an 8.5 out of 10. In terms of value, the GR60 is absolutely fantastic. But overall, I felt like for a little bit extra money, the GR80 was as good as pretty much any high-end rod out there. So it's gonna be hard to give this quite as high of a score. So I'm gonna say nine out of 10 for value. Last but not least, cool factor and this is going to fall flat and earns a 5 out of 10. That leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 59, which is sort of in the middle of the road, but overall great for a $200 price point rod. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the box below. We'll see you next time.